Hi guys, this is Jimmy from Case Group and in this short demo we are going to take a quick look at one of the new textures that we have in V-Ray 2.0. If I open the material editor and grab a new texture, you will see that we now have a texture called V-Ray Distance Tech. This texture actually allows us to have different colors for points based on their distance from an object or a list of objects. In order to illustrate how it works, I'm going to create a very, very simple scene. So first I'm going to add a plane and assign a V-Ray material to that plane. Then I'm going to assign the V-Ray texture as a diffuse color for that plane. Then I'm just going to create a simple sphere. I'm going to make this sphere invisible to the camera. And in the distance texture, I'm going to specify that I want the texture to be affected by this sphere object here. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start playing with these uh, three colors here. So as you can see, we have uh, three different values here for color. We have far color, near color, and inside color. And I'm just going to switch the inside color to bright green. I'm going to turn the camera and render you see that uh, we have this image, it's nothing very special, but uh, it will help me explain the different settings here. So basically where the edges of the object are, we have on the outside we have the near color, which is this black, and on the inside we have the green color, which is the inside color. And then these colors are slowly fading away into the far color, which is this white. And I can change, for example, the near color, and this will make the black part of my image now, it will become red. Uh, also, the the distance it takes uh, for one color to fade out into the other color, for the near color, for example, to fade out into the far color, is controlled by this distance parameter. So if I increase it, I'm actually increasing this fallout uh, radius here. And of course I can add different textures to all the, uh, the colors, the inside, the near and the far color. Now you may wonder what's the, what this texture is useful for. And if we take a look at the swatch here, you'll see that uh, when I move this object, actually we can see the texture being updated. This is because the texture is generated before the actual rendering takes place. And this is very useful because I can actually use this texture for things like displacement or to control uh, some parameters of the V-Ray fur, for example, which was not possible uh, with the standard V-Ray dirt map. So let's open a scene and see an actual example using this uh, new texture. In this scene we have a very basic setup and uh, if we take a look we have we the only thing that's different is that we have the V-Ray distance texture uh, plugged into an output parameter and the output into an output texture and we have this curve being applied to the distance texture. The reason we do this is because we want to have the fallout has had to have this curve instead of just being linear. And uh, this distance texture is actually applied on two places. First of all, we have this plane which has the V-Ray displacement modifier and then uh, as a displacement map, we're using actually this uh, output map. So we're going to displace the plane based on the distan its distance to this uh, long object. And if we take the look at the distance textures, you'll see that we have the line selected in the object uh, list here. And the other place we're using uh, the V-Ray distance texture is for this V-Ray fur object. So we're using the distance texture to control two things. First of all, we are controlling the density of the strands directly with the V-Ray distance texture and we are also controlling the length with the help of the output which has the distance texture inside of it. So now if I render the image, we'll be able to see uh, the result very quickly. As you can see, we have the plane 
displaced around this long object called line and we also have the grass more dense and longer around the object and as we go further away uh, from this long line object the density of the grass decreases and also the length decreases so as I told you this uh, the main functionality of, of this distance texture is that it's being uh, calculated before the actual render time takes place and we can use it for things such as displacement and controlling the V-Refer and other uh, parameters. So this concludes this short presentation. I'm Dimitri Krstev-Jimi and I thank you for watching.